What's good, YouTube? Neil So Dope here. I'm here with some stoner tips. Today, we're going to talk about how to collect more keef from your grinder. Now, here you see I have my Santa Cruz shredder, and you see the amount of keef that I have in it. Um, this is from about an ounce and a half of using uh, using an ounce and a half in the grinder. Now, a pro tip to get more keef is to invest in a good grinder. You have to invest in a good grinder. If you're not using a good grinder, you're not going to collect keef. Uh, it's just plain and simple. So I did put um, a link in the description to three different grinders. Um, you're going to see my grinder here. It's a four-piece large Santa Cruz shredder. You're also going to see a small Santa Cruz shredder in the description uh, for a cheaper option. And if you don't want to spend that much money, I'm also going to have a cheaper option in the description below. So what you want to do is put the grinder in the freezer for about 25 minutes. You don't want to keep it in the freezer longer than 25 minutes because you don't want it to freeze. Now what you're going to do is put it on some parchment paper and we're just gonna separate the four pieces of the grinder. Now, after the pieces are separated, um, you can see putting it in the freezer, it makes the trichomes get stuck to the grinder. Now, what the trichomes are, they're basically the crystals that are on the cannabis. So whenever you're sitting there grinding your cannabis in your grinder, it's knocking some of the trichomes off. And um, the net right here collects the trichomes, and that's what we call the keef. Now, the Santa Cruz shredder comes with this like guitar pick looking thing. I just use this to scrape the edges off my grinder. If your grinder doesn't come with a guitar pick, um, you can use any other household items. But, um, you know, if you buy a Santa Cruz shredder, it is going to come with a pick. Now, you see me just going around the sides uh, gently to uh, scrape off the keef. You don't want to scrape too hard because you don't want to uh, mess up your grinder. You just want to gently do it until all the keeps on the nib. Now, once all the keeps on the net, the net, you're going to see it pile up like this. And what we're going to do is get ready to put it on the parchment paper. Now, the reason why we use parchment paper is because it's going to be strong enough to collect that fine keef because it is going to be, you know, as fine as dust. You don't want to use any paper towels or anything like that. You only want to use parchment or wax paper. If you use any other kind of paper, I'm telling you, you're going to waste your keef. So don't even do it. Just go ahead and go to the store, spend it three bucks, get the parchment paper or get the wax paper um, to make sure that you're collecting all your keef. Now, you just want to sit here and make sure that you get all the keef out. Uh, you just tap it a little bit at the end just to get all that keef out. Now, as you can see, I got a lot of keef from that. And like I said, I only used this grinder to grind about an ounce and a half, and I got a mountain of keef. Um, you're about to see me compare it to my grinder so you can just see how much keef it is. But like I said, investing in a good grinder is going to get you a lot of keef. Now, I'm showing you this because you don't. You're not going to be able to scrape all the keef off, so don't just be OCD about it. If it looks like this, you should be good to go. Now, um, you're just going to see me um, uniform the keef and put it in the container. And then after we put it in the container, we're going to get ready to uh, start the process of cleaning our grinder. Now that we got all our keef in our container, uh, you see it right here. Now it's a lot easier to store in these containers. This is a heady container that I got. If you don't have any uh, small heady containers, you can also use a wax container uh, to store your keef in. Just make sure that you clean it with some alcohol uh, before you use it and make sure you just dry it out. 
Um, you want to store it in something small because it's really fine, so you can just pick it up and grab it. Just make sure you're not trying to store like Keith and Mason jars or anything like that. So to get ready to clean it, um, I'm going to use alcohol. If you have 90% alcohol, that's way better. I only had 70% alcohol, so you're going to see me use 70% alcohol. You're going to get a, a gallon freezer bag or just, a, I'm sorry, not a gallon freezer bag, just a small freezer bag. And what you're going to do is you're going to pour the alcohol in the freezer bag. Now you're going to make sure that all the alcohol covers the grinder. You don't want to partially cover the grinder. You want to make sure that all the alcohol covers the grinder. And the reason why you want to make sure all the alcohol covers the grinder is because it's not going to clean the whole grinder if you don't have it covered. So don't even waste your time. Just make sure that you cover it all. Also, you do not want to store this on the countertop. You want to make sure while you're letting it soak, you put it in the sink. If you put it on the countertop, the alcohol is going to leak through the freezer bag. Even if you put a paper towel under it, it's still going to leak through the uh, paper towel and the freezer bag, and it's going to stain your counter, and you're going to have to clean it off. So I recommend just letting it sit in the sink. I let my grinder sink for about eight hours. If you're doing a quick clean, you can let it sit for about two to three hours. Just make sure you shake it every other hour uh, just, you know, to get the alcohol going. After you get done cleaning it, you want to dry it. But before you start drying it, just make sure that you rinse the alcohol off. You don't want to like wash it, but just make sure that you lightly rinse the alcohol off with some sink water. After you do that, put your grinder on a paper towel. You're going to dry off the individual pieces. You do not want to leave it um, wet. You just want to try to get it as dry as possible and then let the rest air dry. This is metal. You don't want it to rust. So you want to make sure that you're wiping all the liquid off. And also it's going to help, you know, get the alcohol smell and taste off. And the reason why you rinse it after you clean the alcohol is to get that alcohol smell and taste off. Because if you don't let it dry properly and if you don't rinse it properly, when you go to grind your weed, it's going to smell and taste like alcohol. And nobody wants that. Now, I let mine dry for about, I say, half a day um, just to make sure, like, you know, it's nice and dry. Um, sometimes I'll do this at night and just, like, leave it overnight and wake up in the morning so, um, you know, it's nice and dry. So this is here me the next day, um, actually the next morning. Looking at the pieces, um, as you see, it's nice and clean, looks brand new. Like I said, to collect the most keef, you have to. You have to invest in a good grinder. I put three grinders below. If you want the grinder that I'm using, the Santa Cruz Shredder, there is going to be a link to that below. And also, if you don't feel like spending the money on the Santa Cruz Shredder, I'm also going to put a budget grinder below that will help you collect Keef as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this helped you out. Um, if you need more stoner tips, make sure you subscribe and like the video. This has been Neil So Dope. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll stay high.